Hello, my fellow Ripplers. This is Chris Miles, your cash flow expert and anti-financial advisor. Hey, welcome to our show. This is for you. Those of you that work so hard for your money and you want your money to start working harder for you right now. You want that freedom and cash flow today, not 30 or 40 bazillion years from now, right? You want that cash flow today so you can live that life that you love with those that you love. Most importantly, however, it's not just about getting rich, it's about living a rich life because as you're blessed financially, you have a greater capacity to create a ripple effect in the lives of others. Guys, thank you for letting me be a part of your day today. Thank you for allowing me to create that ripple effect through you. I appreciate you guys. You've been tuning in and you've been binging. And most importantly, you've been applying the things you have to get real results real fast. Thank you so much for doing so. As always, if you haven't done so already, go to go to Money Ripples. You, know, you can go to moneyripples.com and check out our stuff. But if you haven't done this already, go to YouTube, subscribe to our channel, the Money Ripples page, subscribe to that. Or if you're already a part of that page, go to Apple, Apple Music or Apple Podcasts. Go there, rate and review our podcast. Hopefully you like it. If not, tell us. But uh, if you like it, please give us a great review. We'd love to be able to impact more lives, create a greater ripple effect. And honestly, guys, we can't do that without your help. So thank you so much for doing so. Chris Miles was able to retire twice by the time he was 39 years old, but he's not content to just enjoy his own financial freedom and peace of mind. Chris wants you to have your own ripple effect so you can live free today. He's not the financial advisor you expected. He's the anti-financial advisor you deserve. He's jumping behind the mic right now, ready to make waves. Here's Chris Miles. Hey guys, so I get the question all the time, even from some of my own clients, as they start to build this rental portfolio, they say, okay, how do I manage this? And not just property manage it, right? But how to financially manage it? How do I tr keep track of all these things? How do I keep track of, you know, all the ex income and the, the rent roll and the expenses going out? And especially at tax time when my CPA says, you better have all those numbers ready and they don't know what to do. And so uh, funny enough, you know, I was perusing bigger pockets and, uh, and as I join the premium membership, what happens? I see this rent ready software that's on there. And, uh, and as I started to see it, I said, this is exactly something our listeners need to know about. So Super excited because I'm bringing on our guest, Ryan Barone, who's actually a co-founder and CEO of Rent Ready. Um, after working with Rent Ready, you know, and doing this for many years, he started to really build out this platform that not only has helped really thousands, literally thousands of people, but managing hundreds of thousands of rentals, be able to help them really build their portfolio, self-manage it. So especially if you're the person that likes to actually do it yourself when it comes to this real estate. This is something you should really pay attention to. So super excited to have Ryan on. And heck, I even heard he's a big basketball fan, not to mention uh, also kind of a huge musician. So we might have to ask him about that as well. So Ryan, welcome to our show. Thank you for having me on, Chris. Excited to be here. Yeah, man. So tell us a little bit more about your background. Like how did you even end up down this this rabbit hole of of real estate and and software development and everything? Yeah, so it, it surprisingly actually started uh, back when I was in college. I was going to school uh, here in New York City, got my first internship down here, which meant I was moving out of dorms and getting my first apartment. Um, and I was all excited. You know, it's it's an exciting moment to to start renting on your own and moving out of uh, dorms or back home. And so I went and viewed an apartment and, and quickly realized I, I wasn't really ready to to rent that apartment. They needed um, a bunch of documents I didn't have ready and information I wasn't prepped for. And so um, I really started on the journey building. Initially, I, I built an iOS and Android app for myself and friends to apply to units more easily and quickly realized along the way, um, along with my, my co-founder, Ed, that a lot of the landlords we were talking to just so happened to be uh, independent investors, independent landlords that were uh, owning and operating their own properties themselves. Um, they didn't have, you know, complex software that they were using. And a lot of times we're doing it all on pen and paper and spreadsheets. And I was seeing the trickle down effect of that. And over the course of the past six years, and, and the team's grown quite a lot uh, along the way. Um, we've been able to collectively build what started as, you know, that application focused, uh, solution to more of this end to end, uh, solution for landlords and tenants that solves a lot of pain points along the way that, that came from individual stories of, of landlords and investors on the platform saying, Hey, can you fix, um, you know, this particular communication issue I have with tenants on maintenance mm -hmm. or another one on rent. And each one of those built up on the platform over the years of across the tens of thousands of landlords using it. 
um, and and really got us to where we're at today, where it it really helps you do pretty much everything from the day one lease ends uh, to the next. And that's an important point. I'm glad you brought that up because I mentioned about the financial side of things, which is already hard enough. Yeah. But then when you're dealing with the actual management, communication with the tenants, you know, and things of that nature, that's all. I mean, really, you kind of created this not just a tracking and a management software, but this is also a communication tool. This is almost like a CRM with a, it's almost like QuickBooks and a CRM all put in one, isn't it? It, it kind of is. Yeah. And, and and to your point, I mean, it, for those that, especially we've seen along the way that are, are trying to grow that portfolio, it's important to strike a balance between, uh, you know, how do I keep enough of the profit that I'm getting from these units or the revenue that these units are generating from me, but also at the same time, how do I not drown myself in work? And I think that's a, yeah. that's a difficult balance to strike. Um, to, to, and so really we've, we've tried to be that answer for landlords. It's a big part of our goal is to, to create a way that, um, these investors, these landlords can strike that, that harmony between, okay, I can automate the things that I don't really manually need to do myself. I have a process. I just need something that runs it for me, or I do need to have that oversight and I need to control that, but I need it not to take up too much of my time or take away too much of my revenue along the way. Yeah. What, what have you heard people saying, like, as they use your software, like what, what's kind of the response to it? Yeah. I, I think the most exciting part for me is that, uh, especially the the investors, the landlords that we help along the way, they have um, their idea of financial freedom to some extent. It's put a kid through college, retire early, or go on extra mm -hmm. vacation, spend more time with family. It, it, the biggest uh, compliment that we've gotten along the way, um, the most exciting part for me is when people come back to us and say, you know, two, three, four months into the platform, I can't tell you how much time I'm saving, um, how much effort, or just like you're not pulling your hair out trying to do everything on spreadsheets anymore. You're getting to spend time with the people that you maybe invested in real estate in in the first place in order to to generate that additional income and spend time with them. So um, I think that is, to me, the the most exciting outcome that we hear from from people that end up using the platforms and switching over from from something like spreadsheets. I agree. Yeah. And how many what would you recommend? Like how many properties if somebody's actively managing it? See, I'm a, I'm a different situation. I like to use turnkey yeah. properties. So I more manage the property managers, right? I'm out of the day to day. Yeah. But I know, of course, you get more profit if you can don't have to pay that property management fee, you know? So right. at what point do you see people usually wanting to have this software? Is it at two properties? Is it one even, or is it more? Yeah. We have a lot of landlords on the platform at one single family, and, and we've actually built the platform intentionally from the perspective of making it affordable and accessible, even to um, someone that just, you know, acquired their very first property. And even if it's a single unit, um, that they can use the platform and derive value out of it. Um, yeah. I, I say our sweet spot for the most part is about one to a hundred units. Um, I think when you start getting much more beyond that, you're maybe getting more into um, a more professional property management uh, headspace um, that we just, uh, we have landlords on the platform. I won't say that we don't, <laughs> that that do it. Probably the largest on the platform is around 2,600 units. So you can, um, Ooh. that say makes a great experience for my tenants. I want to do it. And we're, I'm more than happy to have them use it, but really our bread and butter, what we've built the platform for is, I mean, as small as one single family home to about a hundred units. And, and that's really the, the, the segment that we're trying to help the most. It's, it's, it's frankly the one that I feel like is the most underserved too. Oh, I totally agree. Well, I, I think of it this way, if you just do the simple math of it, right? I mean, if you had a property that you're getting paid $1,200 a month from that tenant, if you had a property manager on that, you're easily paying probably at least a hundred bucks a month on that, right. you know, 1200 bucks a year, but using your platform, it's like a small fraction of that cost, even for just one property. You know, we're not even talking about having to have multiple properties where that could be a huge, not just money saver, well, not just time saver, but also a big money saver too. Right. Yeah, I mean a, a fraction of much less than one percent. I mean it's a yeah. it's a nine dollar total uh, subscription fee for for a landlord to use. So yeah, I mean even if they're coming in with one single family unit, you know it's less than a pizza or it's a Spotify subscription <laughs> equivalent to basically run their entire ma property management operations and streamline a lot of the the manual work they've maybe already been doing. Yeah, for the price of a YouTube membership, you could pretty much have your own property management system in place, right? And, right. and skip the property manager. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's incredible. And so, and so, and like you said, I was going to ask you that next question. You said there's not really a limit to it, although this is more yeah. meant for those that are doing onesie twosie type of, of, of investments. But like you said, there's people with literally hundreds uh, managing yeah. with, with the software too, aren't they? 
Yeah, there are. And, and I think it, it stems from the standpoint of um, the segment that we started with, the group that we started with and tried to have the most conversations with is that one to a hundred range. Um, but a lot of the core functionality of what we've built along the way translates, right? Like we've mm -hmm. built a platform that helps the the manager, whether you're a, a independent investor or you're scaling up to run your own, you know, full operations, as well as the tenant. On the flip side of that, you ultimately want someone to rent your unit and enjoy living there. And we've built out a lot of tools along the way, like um, letting them report their rent to credit bureaus so that they can build credit, assuming they pay you on time uh -huh. to encourage them to do that or make it easier for them to get renter's insurance or set up auto pay so they don't even have to think about paying rent. It just happens. And as a result, that creates a really great experience for you, you know, maybe when you do even get out of that sweet spot for us, right? Even if you are getting into 200, 300 range, you might still say, hey, it's it's automating a lot of my process for me. It's making good communication with my tenants. Um, it, it's eliminating a lot of that manual work. So it gives me the oversight I need without any of the work I don't want to do. I love that too. I'm glad you brought that up, but where it even creates an experience for the tenant to make their yeah. lives easier too which just makes everybody's lives easier. If, if your life's easier, their life's easier, everybody's happy, they stay in longer, you know, and it makes it just makes it systematic and really automated, doesn't it? Right. Yeah, absolutely. And and I think it it tries to, we really try to build the platform with smart defaults along the way so that as we're learning as a platform, right, you, you have this collective knowledge of everyone using it in different areas so that even if you're an experienced investor, frankly, but you're acquiring a property in a, a different area or different size property than you've done before, um, we've likely had other investors on the platform that have gone through purchasing a property of that size or in that area or, or similar qualities that um, we can build things in to make it easy for you to kind of learn from uh, you know, others experiences rather than have to, you know, go through the ringer yourself for things like, mm -hmm. um, for example, even like late fees, when you're setting them up on our platform, you can automate that process. We'll build in asking you, Hey, do you want to, uh, set up a maximum late fee, which in certain States you don't need and in others legally you do need. And, and sometimes it's a fixed dollar amount and other times it's a percentage fee. Um, but even being able to have that question prompt, you can lead you to say, okay, maybe I need to think about this and make sure I'm covered in this sense. That's I, I'm, you know, it's funny when you brought that up because it just brought me back to my very first rental. Mm -hmm. And I remember putting in the agreement, I put in the contract, Hey, right here, there's a late fee. If you go beyond this day, and, oh, if you don't pay this, you know, then this happens, right? And I didn't enforce any of it because I just was too scared to. I was like, well, I, you know, they gave me a really good sob story. So maybe I'll just let it slide this time. And then that just led this kind of really this horrible avalanche of crap. You know, <laughs> it was just yeah. a really miserable experience because then they just kept pushing those boundaries, pushing those boundaries and pushing those boundaries to the point where finally I had to a victim, which was not fun, you know, and, right. and just getting to that point. But had it been enforced and had I had something automated to do it, then my own emotional, you know, my heart wouldn't get in the way. Right. I would just, right. it would even give them the warning saying, listen, if you don't pay it by, by two days from now, this fee is going to get tacked on. Just kind of give them that little extra push. Right. Right. Yeah. And we'll automate those notifications too. So, you know, even yeah. if you have um, a custom structure where you say, Hey, I want them to be notified two days before, five days before every day for the week leading up to it, you can, you can change that. So you have that, you know, configuration in the way you want, but ultimately it, it comes down to good communication, um, making it easier for you, taking things off your plate, but still doing it the way you want them done. Yeah. That sounds like a dream come true. <laughs> well, who, who would you say this is not for? So we really haven't built it for um, like the, the massive property managers. I think there's some, some massive, uh, you know, 10,000 unit uh, uh, portfolios that um, they have some great software frankly. Um, I, and I think that's, I think that's great for them. Um, I, I think we really, what we saw was that there is an underserved market of um, investors that are on the, the smaller end of that scale. And mm -hmm. uh, we really wanted to help them. It's, it's honestly a really exciting group to help because it, it does, I mean, but going back to your emotional point <laughs> on the flip side of, of that, when things work really well, it feels really great um, to help that group. And so um, that's really who we've built it for. It, it is a little bit less for the, you know, the uh, extremely large property management uh, organizations rather than, um, you know, individuals that are looking to to manage their own properties efficiently, um, take things off their plate, not 
not dilute too much of their revenue along the way and, and just be able to, you know, scale their, their personal operations a bit. Gotcha. Well, that might exclude one or, one or two people listening to this episode right now. So that's a, that's good to know. You know, before I start to ask you, I, I have a, a, a curious question for you, of course, but uh, if somebody wanted to really learn more about this and find this, where, where would be the best place they go? Uh, so it's, it's rentready.com. It's R E N T R E D I.com. So we're a startup. We have to spell something wrong along the way. <laughs> um, but the, you can go there. We actually have live chat um, right there on the website. We have it in the app. Once you get in there, same thing for your tenants too. They can always message in. Um, we're really big on communication, not just making it better for you and, and your tenant, but also, you know, with you talking with us, it's it's pretty much how we've built everything on the platform today. So um, you can always reach out to us, ask questions. We're more than happy to talk to anybody, but um, yeah, rentready.com is the place to find us. That's why I have you on today because I reached out to somebody and said, hey, how's this apply for my situation? And I was impressed. It was way, way bigger than I ever expected it to be. It was way better for sure. <laughs> I appreciate it. So, now, it mentioned that you were a huge, like not just a basketball fan, but you're also a, a huge musician. Like you play what, three instruments? Is that correct? Some better than others, I'll be honest. <laughs> but uh -huh. yeah, yeah, I play drums, piano, and guitar. Wow. So your parents are one man band, is what you're saying. Um, yeah, there are certain certain people in my family that are probably better at some of those instruments than me, but I, I can get away with, you know, putting something together. <laughs> Did you have a pretty musical family growing up then? Uh yeah. My one of my sisters is uh, a killer at piano. We're so good at piano. Um, my mom played some piano and, and so did my dad a little bit. So um, yeah, some of my family's been some cousins too are pretty good musicians. So oh wow. Well, that's pretty impressive. You know, I remember I was actually telling my kids this the other day. I was, you know, I was listening to some Christmas music, right? And and uh they started putting on uh, you know, like like there was like different horns that came on and it brought back memories like, oh, that's a French horn. I played that for three months, you know. So <laughs> kind of like you, maybe it's like, yeah, I can kind of do it, but I probably couldn't even do it today, right? And then yeah, and then like the right after that, a trumpet came on. I'm like, oh yeah, I did trumpet for three years too. Yeah, go figure, right? But yeah. Um, but don't ask me to play that today. I tried to play a trumpet a few years ago. It was horrible. So I don't know yeah. how I, you know, lost, you know, how I can't even play those today. So I'm pretty impressed that you can do that and you're managing software too. I haven't picked up my own podcast. So that that's where you have me be. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> I got one. <laughs> so, well, Ryan, I really appreciate you being on today. It's been really a pleasure to have you on and every else. You know, I encourage you to check out, check out rentready.com. We put that in the show notes so you guys can look it up. You don't have to worry about the spelling. You just go in and click on it. It makes it really easy. Uh, but check it out, especially if you're looking to manage your own properties, whether in the near future or you're already managing properties or have a property manager you're thinking about firing. This might be the solution for you to be able to really get past that, keep your profits higher, especially as interest rates have gone up. This might be the very thing that you've been needing as well. So go be sure to check that out, guys. Make it a wonderful and prosperous week, and we'll see you later.